welcome to my channel. This is Reading Truth Tarot by Clara. I am Clara and today we are reading truth. Today we're reading for the sign of Aquarius. Aquarius, welcome to my channel. For those of you who've never been on and for those who are subscribed, um, welcome back. If you would like to catch any future videos from me, just subscribe to my channel so that you don't miss any. Um, also, if you would like, uh, if you like the reading, do hit like, and that way the messages can get out to other people as well. My readings are timeless. This book's right in my hand. needing to make a decision to cut someone out something or someone out i feel like someone wasn't getting much sleep and someone was stuck in their head well wow. mm, you have the will of fortune here you do have the strength card at the bottom ah, aquarius you showed up here with the star card this is aquarius and you have the strength card having courage in a situation healing you're strong, representing Leo and Aquarius here. All right, guys, let's get into your reading. Let me get my little stone. All right, someone is not sleeping. I feel like someone has been backstabbed or feel as if they've been backstabbed, but someone cut someone out here. Someone is not sleeping over it. All right, but let's start here. I feel like here you are, um, Aquarius. You're in your empress mode here. You're feeling beautiful. You're feeling great. Um, you're feeling abundant. I feel like you have what you need. You know, you're creating. You're constantly in creative mode. So you're always creating something beautiful for yourself. Always um, expanding and growing. Um, having what you need. And people look at you as well in that light that you have what you need. And um, you make things happen. You also have the Queen of Swords here. Um, so the Queen of Swords is cutting anything or anyone out who no longer serves you anymore. So if you feel like someone has done you wrong, um, backstabbed you, betrayed you, whatever the case is, you're going to cut them out really swiftly. Um, you're not going to tolerate that kind of behavior anymore. Um, I feel like there's people around you that you feel like took you for granted. Um and then kind of stabbed you in the back, so to speak. I feel like balance is coming back in, but it's still a challenge here. It's in the challenge position. So balance needs to be restored here. So you may still be feeling off balance about a situation here. I feel like, yeah, you have to cut someone out. I also see here the page of pentacles so someone may be coming in with a new offer from you it could be from a younger person um but someone that's bringing in something stable um uh could be a new job new type of offer or deal that seems small but it can grow into something big something good <clears throat> i do see the magician card here in the recent past so um this could go two ways for me and that's how I'm picking it up two ways because I feel like you've been manifesting what you want 
um, you've been working on manifestation. I do also feel like there's been manipulation around you or someone trying to work against you in a certain way so that things don't happen for you, so to speak. Um, could be even working with dark magic or something like that, but regardless, you're still going to manifest. Uh, it doesn't matter. I feel like you're divinely guided and protected. So it's like someone could be manipulative or either doing magic on you or actually just being manipulative. But I also feel this card represents that, yes, you have been uh, manifesting what you want in life. And this is in the recent past, so it's not even to be worried about because you still have um, passions coming in with the Ace of Wands. You may be coming into more creative ideas, more creativity with the Ace of Wands, thinking more passionately about the things you love and the things you are passionate about. So even with those things, you can always think of something creative to come up with. So I feel like you're just on a major creative row here. It could be like someone coming at you with a message as well of passion. Um, but I feel for a lot of you, um, and that can happen where someone is admiring you and coming in with a, a passionate message or something like that, where, you know, you could even already be in a relationship or someone may try to come at you with this passion, trying to lure you into their world and, um, whether you go for it or not is up to you, Aquarius. I feel like someone here has been through a lot through the ringer. Um, like a lot of hard lessons in life. Um, feeling like recently they've been through a lot. They're hurt. Uh, this is the one wounded warriors. Um, so this is someone who's been hurt, who's been through it, but keeps getting up and still goes after what they want. And they still keep creating. They keep fighting for whatever it is they want, what they're, whatever it is they're trying to create. I do see here we have the five of swords as well. So someone could have been here in fighting mode with you where you've been going through a lot of fights, arguments, conflicts, um, someone feeling like, someone feeling um, very manipulative here as well, like trying to win at any cost. Um, with the five of uh, swords here, this could be an air sign or someone standing in this energy, Aries, Gemini, Libra. Um, but I feel like someone wanted to see someone down here in this picture. I see where there's two people there and someone is trying to win at any cost. By any means necessary, so to speak. I don't feel there's anything to worry about. I mean, this is like someone's thinking or hopes in their own head. Kind of that you fall, uh, fail and fall on your face with these two people here. Like kind of like wanting you to fall on your face, um, which is not nice. Um, but I feel like they're a type of hater. I also feel like um, you are getting your wish, for, wish fulfillment. So whatever you're putting your work into, your efforts, whatever you're, you're doing to attract is working because you are in celebration mode. Others, some people may see you as selfish, greedy. Um, some people... But some you may have to be careful of overindulging and drinking because it may get out of hand. So it's like, you know, go and have a good time, but in moderation, because I feel like it could get out of hand where you could become some kind of alcoholic or something like this. And this is not for everyone. This is for very few. Um, where you're constantly celebrating, celebrating, celebrating. And there's reason to celebrate, but it's not good for you because you're over drinking is what I want to say. Yeah. Usually this could also mean someone who's selfish, self-centered. Maybe you're giving a lot to someone, but they're all about maybe drinking or themselves. Very selfish people. You also have the judgment card here. With the judgment card, a decision has to be made. And the hopes and fears, maybe you're not ready to make that decision yet and judgment is here already. Maybe there's something you need to make a decision about. Matter of fact, it's not even a maybe. There's a decision that needs to be made here. So let me correct myself in saying that. This isn't your hopes and fears. Um, 
Fear could be sooner than later or that it's not soon enough. This judgment coming in, this, you know, getting things to where you want it to be. I also feel like you're in the hangman position, so you're taking time just to, like, kind of see things from a different perspective. I feel like you were always giving of yourself again. And I've seen this so many times for Aquarius where they overgive of themselves. They give, they give, they give, and, like, they don't really get back what they give out, so to speak. Like, it's constant. Give, 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 but no return on that. You also have, well, with these, okay. So we got here, this is, these are crazy, and they're all swords, okay, representing the air signs. So that represents Aquarius, Gemini, Libra, right? But I, what I see here is that uh, someone is losing sleep. Um, someone here is not sleeping due to a situation where they needed to cut someone out because they felt like they were being backstabbed. Like someone wanted to see them down. So someone cut someone out and here's the two of swords. Someone made a decision to cut people out because someone saw someone in a light where they didn't trust them like they felt they were going to be backstabbed this could be you or the other party take it how it resonates but someone here hasn't been getting sleep whether it be you or the other party someone felt like they were being backstabbed or they were actually backstabbed someone was feeling also at their lowest but now that's going to change However, someone needed to cut someone out because they felt like they put them, they were backstabbing them. And I feel like someone lost sleep over this. All right, let me do some clarifiers real quick. Aquarius. All right, so for the... Yeah, so for the Page of Pentacles, you have the Eight of Wands is communication. So it's going to be some fast-moving communication, uh, communication, some traveling, but there's going to be some communication where someone is going to come in with an offer for you, and there's going to get a, it's going to become a lot of communication here, like fast movement. There may even be travel involved at some point. What is the message for the magician? What's the confirmation? Yeah. I feel like if someone was trying to um, do any manipulative stuff, um, it turned and backfired on them. And they, they were trying to get things to go backwards for you, but that could end up being for them if anyone tried that with you. So if they try to manipulate you or try to bind you or something like that well what happens is it backfires on them and things start going wrong for them and that's how you'll see or know who it is because if someone was doing anything you know manipulative like that like spell work then you're gonna see things go wrong for them because this is when it's upside down in the reverse Things are not going to go right in their favor. However, things are going good in your favor here with the Wheel of Fortune and the Upright. This is the same card, but in a different deck. But this is regarding this right here in the recent past. I feel this is in regards to someone's manipulation. And now things are not going good for them. Or things won't go good for them if they did any spell work on you. Things will go against them. And it's weird because I don't always, um, when I speak of the magician card, I don't always speak of uh, spell work or, you know, uh, manipulation. Usually I see this card as manifesting, you know, good things in your life. But it also can be a card of manipulation or even spell work. And if I pick it up, I tell you, I don't sugarcoat anything here. In the present, you do have the Ace of Wands here. You may be coming into good uh, creative ideas. Someone may be approaching you um, about something that's going to light up your fire, something that's going to light up that passion within you. Let me also clarify. I have to clarify. 
I have more. What time is it? Because I just caught myself like, I'm going over the course like a tire. Like, that was crazy. Yeah. Someone hasn't made a decision yet. I feel like someone is not seeing. Or someone wasn't seeing someone or situation for what it was. I feel like someone was blinded to it and not making the decision for quite some time on cutting this person off. But here you had to come in and cut them off because you felt backstabbed. Take it how it resonates. It could be the other person. Maybe they felt backstabbed. But I feel like you're losing sleep over it. I feel like this other person has lost sleep as well. What is the messages? Oh, wow. So for the five of swords, I got the page of swords. So I want to spine. So be careful because with these two in combination together, I don't like it. This is someone who's manipulative, conniving, um, trying to win at all costs. This is someone who's constantly spying on someone here. They're constantly, you know, researching what someone is doing, constant spying, just so they can see how they can get over this person, um, how they can win victory over them, get over them, you know, hurt them, whatever it is. But someone is spying, and it's, it's not because they want good for you. So be careful with that. What are the messages for the hangman? The moon. Yeah, yeah, there's some secrets. There's something that's gonna come out that's gonna be illuminated. Um, you've been going within, you've been quiet in the hangman position, but there's something that's gonna be illuminated, a secret, um, something that that's going to come out and be illuminated. There's a secret. Uh, it could be a lie uh, about something. Uh, let me see. I also feel like someone is stuck in their head about you as well. Someone is constantly in their head about you. Like literally every day, every night they think about you. But I feel also like there's a secret that's going to come out that you're going to find about, uh, find out about. Right now you're in the hangman position and you're just watching. What is the messages for the two of swords? The four of cups in the reverse. Someone was cut out. Someone has also come out of feeling bored, stuck. Uh, sad in the situation. I feel like someone has changed their mindset. Let's see. This is for the Ten of Swords. No love for the Ten of Swords. And for the Nine of Swords, we have Nine of Wands. You may be coming. Yeah, that's again being more creative, feeling, feeling beautiful, sensual, sexy, flirtatious. Um, but this is also you being very, again, creative, like you're going to get creative. It's like, look at me, look what I'm doing, look at where I'm at and very happy. And I don't feel like it's going to be a thing where you're like in a malicious type of way where you're trying to get at someone or anything or trying to even show up. I mean, it's like you've had a compliment, uh, accomplishments and, you know, you're entitled to enjoy, you know, your wins. And so I feel like you're enjoying all your wins and you're getting more and more creative and you're more out there. So you may have some haters that are spying on you. You may have some haters that um, want to knock you down. So just be careful with that. That whole spying thing just to try to, wow, that's just deep. I feel like this person that you cut out you used to see them in this upright position here as not having it together, being sad, down, bored in their life. But I feel like this person is coming out of that energy. I also feel that new love is coming in for someone here. Could be a water sign with the Ace of Cups overflowing of love. 
um, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. I feel someone could be getting spiritual downloads as well. Yeah, the chariot. Someone could have cheated on you in the past and is trying to make a way back to you with this chariot card representing cancer. You also have the four of swords. So it's calling for you to take care of yourself, self-care, self-love. Okay. So, let me do my Alan's, my Alan ones. Look, it's that in the back I just got. Heartbreak, pain, separation, deception, shocking attack. Coffee cup, meeting and conversing, savoring the moment, feeling uplifted. Someone backstabbed someone or felt backstabs here. Someone could have backstabbed someone here. Wow. That's crazy. Uh, promise, uh, paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, attraction. I love it. And give me two more for future and outcome for Aquarius. Not today, not dealing, hurt, avoiding a conversation, call person, boundary, still angry, which could have been at that other person that you cut out. Yeah, for, oh, mask. Not showing true feelings, high, personified, pretend, delude, gaslighting, mask. Oh, no bueno. I don't like that. Okay, and the phoenix at the bottom. New phase, rekindle, renew, transform, growth, change mind, the phoenix. And at the top of the deck, photograph, looking at your photos, missing you, nostalgia, make new memories. Someone is, someone is still out there thinking about Aquarius. Let's try the Romance Angels to see what they have to say for Aquarius. Also, remember again, these readings are general. Retreat, I like that. It's time to disconnect from the world. And I like that because it's under um, paradise. Happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. Retreat, love it. Second one, let go of control issues. Allow this situation to unfold naturally, Aquarius. We also have worth waiting for. Divine timing is at work in your love life. Last one for Aquarius. What are the messages? reconciliation there may be a reconciliation with someone maybe a friend or an ex-lover or someone someone from your past is returning to your life so maybe you had a falling out and you guys passion allow your heart and soul to sing with joy and separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon so for some reason you may be in separation with your partner but guys, those are your messages. Do check out all my friends and um, in the link this, in the description box below. And also, if you would like a reading with me, that's also in the link description in the link below in the description box. I'm so tired. All right, so all right, that's what I have for you, Aquarius today. Um, love, light. Namaste. Do check out Phoenix Gibbs and Métis at Unique Serendipity. Um, I have everyone's links below and also check out Enlightened Candles. 
and they have that Yanni girls, that Yanni steam. It's like that, that's like awesomeness. But they also have great smelling candles, so do check them out. They're up and coming. I love them. They put jewels and flowers and stuff, so I think you guys will love that. All right, guys, sending love and light. Do like, share, subscribe if you like to have our future readings or see future videos is what I want to say. I am tired. Namaste. Love and light. Have a good night, guys. God bless.